everybody. Uh, welcome to Getting Dug with Hi. You've been asking for this since day one. And he's ready to do a very dramatic reveal, even though you already saw his name flying through space. Jack Black is here, everybody. <laughs> That's the first time anybody's entered like that. They don't really enter on this show, they just are sitting here. I like to make an entrance. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want to just already be there. I'm traditional. <laughs> make yourself comfortable. In that way. Who's that That's on fun. your shirt? This is a wolf, a fire wolf shirt that my wife bought me. It's nice. Right, Tanya? I like it. Thank you. Uh, thank you for being here, man. Thanks for having me, man. I know you're. it's a Sunday, that's why we're doing a show on a Sunday, so you could actually come in, because you're too busy working. To it's true. It's come here on a Wednesday. Yeah, sorry, thank you. No, it's all good. We're happy yeah. to do it. And we're gonna do thank another you. show later tonight. Double header. Dude, back to back? Back to back. Who's and next? I gotta get high through uh, both shows. Who's up next? It's a surprise. Pace yourself. Yeah, I'll pace myself. Like a marathon yeah, smoker. I'm pretty good at it. I'm, I've gotten all right at it. Um, as you can see here on the table, we have lots of different uh, things for you to uh, smoke from. But the first thing I'd like you to try when we get to when we get to uh, 20 minutes after the hour, because we like to start smoking when it's 4:20 somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Did we do the research today? Where where is it going to be 4:20 uh, when we when we hit uh, hit the time when it gets to 6:20? Well, it'll be 4:20 in two places. Does it only count if it's 4:20? PM? No, a.m. or p.m. See what I'm right? saying, though? Boom. Haven't you ever been up at 4.20 a.m. and just went, it's 4.20? And but it might be have in the middle hit? of the ocean, right? It might be somewhere in the middle oh, of the Oh, that's Pacific. true. Might be for the fish. Yeah. Special might, show for the fish. Might be 4.20 around Kauai. You think? Yeah, I do. I do All think. Right. Well, if anybody knows, if you could just tweet to us where it's 4.20 right now. And then the other if place you're watching. would be... That'd be I'm perfect. I'm gonna go in my mental globe. Opposite of Kauai. Probably someplace in Africa. They probably watch there. I don't know. Someplace in Africa. In South Africa. They check it out. Ipikaye Marafaka. So we got these pens, Jack, that are revolutionary. They are uh, from our friends at Blackout X, and they're disposable. Oh, great. And uh, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to push a button. You, yeah. just, you just hit it, you just go like that, and it gives you a nice hit, and uh, you put wax or oil in there, oh. and uh, it's good for like 300 puffs, wow. then you toss it. Wow. Yeah, it's that simple. Wow. And uh, for today's show, Blackout has a special offer, uh, three pens for 30 bucks, when you go to their website and use the promo code DUG30. Did you say out. you put your? Of course, I'm 30 years old, so that's appropriate. Did yes? you say you put in your own sauce in there? Or yeah, comes, yeah. Because you put it in there. It doesn't come preloaded, so they can send them to people anywhere. So they send it to you. You sauce it up. You took it, took it, took it, and mm -hmm. then when it's out of battery juice, yeah, you totally described it better than I have on however many episodes they've sponsored. But it's blackoutx.com/doug, and use Doug30 at checkout. But uh, you can have one or two or more oh, thanks, of these for, to keep if you'd like. Oh, I appreciate you. They, uh, they travel real nice, Thank you. I Blackout. have to say. And uh, it's, it's 619, <sighs> so it's perfect time to go ahead and try it. Just, uh, you, you just, leave the little, it feels, the little it feels like thing. magic. Yeah, you don't do anything, you just. Smooth. <laughs> it's good stuff, right? It's quite smooth. Yeah. I like it. And today's strains, because all these pipes that you see on this table are all filled with. Uh, <clears throat> that tasted a little indica indica esque. What oh, was yeah? in, what was the sauce in there? I don't know what it was today. Hybrid. Oh, hybrid. So you, you did notice called a, it. a little indica in there. Called it. That's good. That's good that you know the difference. Uh, most people. It's a uh, nice bouquet. Most people don't. Um, our uh, strains today were delivered here by a new service in LA that's like Uber, but with weed. Oh, really? Yeah, it's called Grasp. 
G R A S S P. Yeah. And uh, they delivered. They've just started delivering in L A. If you go to graspit.com, uh, you can order through their app on your phone, and they'll deliver it in like less than an hour. And they brought us uh, some sativa and some indica. Yeah. And uh, they threw in some papers and a couple of pre-rolls. And you, you like you, that sort of thing? You just shoot them an email? Yeah, you, well, you do it on your app, I guess. On the app. Yeah, I guess they have a website. And then they bring you grass. Yeah, and they even put in a little nice app. little card for you, Jack Black. And then you grasp. Here's your, yeah. Your grass. Enjoy, from, from Team Grasp. Very cool. Yeah, so. Very um, cool. But I don't know what this is. They included this little box with this thing in it. And I don't know what it is. Or it what it like does. Little, uh, is it just a fun bracelet? It's a miniature noose. It's <laughs> used to kill small animals. I don't know what that is. Gabe, do you have any idea what that is? I was gonna ask you before the show and I forgot. That's All right. So anyway, that's in there. Comes that's in a nice little grass. padded box. Like it's, I thought it was gonna be jewelry. Maybe yeah. it is jewelry. Maybe it's like a wrist thingy. It's brightly colored. Whatever it is, brightly they sent it strings. to us. And uh, they also sent us the, the uh, sativa is called Sweet Island Skunk. Mm. That's a fun name, right? Yeah. And uh, AK Hash Plant mm. is the is the indica. That sounds yeah, very potent. Yeah. And so, we take a are you generally an indica or a sativa guy? I mean, the, you even I know the difference is uh, impressive. <clears throat> I generally don't smoke at all. Smells nice. <laughs> Let me sniff this one. Okay, that was the uh, that was the indica that you, that that you smells, just sniffed. That smells strange. The Sweet Island Skunk. Graspit also throws in a uh, a lighter because yeah. you know how that goes. Right. You order and they deliver it to you, and it gets there, and nobody's got a lighter. That'd be terrible. So um, I loaded all these with the sativa. Okay. But if you if you want, prefer indica, we can load something up with the indica. Whatever you want, man. Just want you to get high. What are you smoking? This is a sativa. Let me have a puff of yours. It's uh, all of these have a sativa in it, so you can just pick any pipe you want. Yeah, but maybe you spiked one that you're not gonna. I only trust. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> a lot of guests want their own pipe, but you're like, I want you just wanna, the ones you've just smoked. You from. might want to like. Take advantage of me or something. <laughs> I'm just gonna match you. What a long game puff con this is for me to take advantage of you that I've done this show for almost a year and just to get Jack me into my... While you do your second show. <laughs> <laughs> and then come and get me after that. It's good, right? Let's do your high history. Okay. And then I'll, uh, each pipe I smoke from, I'll pass it to you after I, or maybe okay. you, because you don't want to take the green hit because you want to make sure that it's legit, right? And I'm not trying to drug you, even though this is, you could call this drugs. I think it's more fun. It's, for, it's more fun for me, and it's four months for you if I just do what you do. Okay. I, I like it. Just keep up. Um, First time you ever smoked, like how much of a youngin' were you? Well, I remember the first time I pretended to smoke. All the kids were saying, if you can get oregano and smoke it, it works just like weed. And me and some kids got some oregano from my mom's kitchen and we smoked it up on the roof and it didn't do anything, obviously. But I remember, and that was only like, must've been like, I don't know, Fourth grade? So how old is that? Mm, Hold eight, on a second. nine, ten? Yeah. Ten. But then the, yeah, first ten. the first time I actually smoked weed, God. Uh, Jack? I guess I was like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember exactly where it was. It's very foggy. I well, that I'd makes sense, I may, guess. Maybe I worked. smoked too much weed. Yeah, if you got really high you know, that first time. Those memories have been erased. <laughs> yeah. But um, I'm going to say around 13 or so. Um, 
did you already? Mm-hmm. Okay. But then you really uh, didn't get into it until later. Isn't that a fun pipe? Yeah. Um, yeah, it didn't really become a part of my world until uh, I was in uh, college, UCLA. I smoked a lot. And um, it was a big part of uh, writing songs with me and Kyle. I'm in a band, for those of you who don't know, Tenacious oh, D. Oh, yes, Tenacious yeah. D, of and, course. Um, oh, thank you. Gabe, Gabe's wearing your shirt today. Yeah, and um, <laughs> we, would, uh, we would jam a lot without smoking, and then we would record, and then we would experiment with the, with the weed after, after that, and we would record some more. And it was a big part of the process for us. The creative juices flowed in strange and unexpected ways. Um, and we did that for years before we ever even played live. We, we were working out our, our situation like mm -hmm. that. But... Um, yeah, it's a fun way to do it. Because you, yeah. you know, you, you obviously you don't want to rely on it. Yeah. But the coming in and out of it, like getting high and doing some stuff and then yeah, and double then checking it when you're not high. Just seeing if the high takes you to another level of creativity and just enjoying the stony playback of everything we'd been recording before that. But um, <laughs> in general, I, I just uh, would always get paranoid and it would take me to dark places um, of my psyche and, and to places that I didn't really want to be. So... I kind of stopped smoking after, uh, I guess, uh, the first album. And then, then while we were making Pick of Destiny, I was still smoking a little. But then I just left it behind because it would, I'd usually just end up having a bad trip. And I'm here because I just didn't want to let you down. Because <laughs> I know you wanted me to come on the show. But uh, I just warn you that I may leave in the middle of the interview if I feel like... <laughs> I'm having a bad trip. I mean, I have a safe word with my wife. I'm not really? saying it yet. Okay. But at any moment, it could happen. That would be that would be a first on the show <laughs> if you suddenly. I feel bad now that I've been making you smoke so much because you can pace yourself a little bit if you yeah, want. Yeah, good. Let's take it easy. Let's ride <laughs> this one out for a while. Yeah, let's. Uh, Appreciate you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to my blackout X because it's uh, it's a nice smooth hit while we have this mellow conversation. Um, was there a specific like event or thing you've ever done where you were like performing somewhere or something and you were like, oh no, I'm, I'm too high for this. I'm, I'm having a, a bad high in this very public way. No, there's no specific event that is super humorous or amazing that I can remember right now. But, but uh, like, were you high uh, when you performed a lot? No. In fact, I do remember the, the first time I got high it, for a performance was um, in acting class. I think I was in like uh, ninth grade with uh, Deb Devine, who I love, is my favorite teacher. Um, but uh, I felt so self-conscious and so um, terrified that people would think I wasn't in control of my my situation that uh, I just froze. I froze on stage and I, I've never gotten high while performing since then. It's always a post-show thing. Yeah. Or now a it not was a at all thing. Show. Now it's a not at all thing. It was a post-show <laughs> celebratory J that I, that I would enjoy. But um, I'm yeah, just gonna I take mean, a little nap. Okay. <laughs> I got plenty of stuff to talk about with the, with the viewers. Uh, we like to do pot topics on the show, where we talk about pot topics, pot topics. and uh, <laughs> that are going on in the news. Um, Madison, Wisconsin, where I'm actually going to be this Saturday, uh, the police chief there says that he supports legalizing marijuana because uh, because of the inefficient enforcement and racial disparities. Like, just having the last name black probably makes you more of a target than most white people, right? 
That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he'd rather see the force focus on solving serious drug issues like heroin related crimes and uh um, you know, he just doesn't think marijuana should be uh, at the top of, the, of his priority list. And then at the bottom of my card, it says, I'll be doing Douglas movies at Comedy on State in Madison on Saturday. <laughs> we should try to get Police Chief Mike Koval to come out to the show and see, I mean, he already probably knows, but see how docile and nice a bunch of stoners are watching a podcast. It'll be a nice time. Do I do another pot topic, Jack? Um, that seemed to go pretty good. No. Hot topic! <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about other things in the world. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like, what do you got? I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I might take another nap. Okay. A brief one. All right. Um, but I'd be happy to talk about anything with you. That's what this is, is a... Uh, I'm going to give you a little massage. A, okay. <laughs> Feels like a... A weird footless man is running on my back. Tiny footless man. Oh, that's really, that's, you're really getting into it if now. you got the carpal tunnel. <laughs> I got it. I, you know, I'm one of those people, you massage anywhere. I'm like, oh, that feels good. Like, how did, why was I so sore up there? <laughs> why was the top of my head sore? Probably from having headphones on on the plane all day. Flew in from Toronto today. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And you have to go back to work tomorrow on a motion picture, I do, right? On a television show. A TV show? Yeah. Can you tell us about it? I can tell you a little bit. It's a it's a comedy set in Pakistan and uh, centers centers around the, the political turmoil that's happening there. And <clears throat> so it's kind of serious and funny at the same time, kinda of like MASH wartime. Mm-hmm. And it's for like uh, HBO or something? Yeah, I play a low-level wannabe CIA agent in, in uh, Pakistan. I'm, I'm there just to... Uh, I can't talk about it anymore. Cantaloupe. Who's, who's the... That's the word? Yeah, you want out my, already? That's my Because we're about word. to go to a commercial break, and then you can... Uh, we'll turn a fan on you for a couple of minutes. Does that ruin the show if I leave so early? No, no, if no. If I stop the show? Stay as long as you can. We'll All be right. right back with maybe with Jack Black. David Deneen Porter and welcome to Retro Video Game Arcade. My special guest today is none other than Reggie Watts. Reggie, hey, how's it going? Going extremely well, brah. That is awesomely tight. Words. Now, what game do you want us to take a gander at? Well, today's game that I'd like to bring up from the past is Grandma's Bath. Great. You play a character named Grontag Fensworth, who is tasked to give his grandmother a bath but is interrupted when he gets a phone call from his friends who tell him that they want him to go bowling. And not only that, but when he goes bowling, he has the opportunity to receive hella mega chives. So one thing he's after is chives, and another thing he's after is good times. Yeah! You got one of the coolest features I've ever seen in a video game. It's called a stabilized mega meter. Now this is your classic center and power meter, but the way that it works is it's hyper stabilized. So if you have tremors, seizures, or troubles, the slowness of the meter will allow you to still score a classic strike. I was just telling Jack that he's doing great. <laughs> he's just uh, gonna chill out like that for a second. I feel like I'm in a therapy session or something. And um, I got good news though, Jack. Yeah? Yeah. Talk to me. We've, for the live, we always like to keep track of how many people are watching us live. Mm -hmm. And for the live broadcasts, of this, I guess broadcast isn't the right word for it, but uh, 3,735 people are watching us right now. Oh my God. Yeah. It's a new new record for the show. Wow. Yeah. I don't, I, I thought that statistic might make you feel worse about how you're doing right now, that that, hey, many, that many people are watching. I want but, to thank you for being in uh, Festival Supreme. Oh, you're October welcome. 25th. Festival Supreme, October 25. That's a, another reason why 
Uh, Jack took the time out to get into this catatonic state for everybody. Do you don't have lines you have to learn for tomorrow, do you? On I do. Holy shit. I have a lot of lines of All right, you don't, have to, to you don't have to smoke anymore. I can't. Uh, for the that. rest of the show. We won't you make you smoke anymore. You might have to stay anymore. up tonight with me and I'll do memorize it. my lines. <laughs> That's why I do this and not that. It's because I can't, uh, I mean, I can memorize lines, but it's, it's fucking hard. It's tough. That's a, hey, you guys. a good reason. Hey, guys. Thanks to... for watching the show. Oh, are we wrapping it up? No. I was okay, just good. talking to him. <laughs> oh, good. I don't ever gave him any eye contact. You've been looking at him all night long. Yeah. Uh, which camera should he look into? That one there? Hey, guys. Yeah. Give, so, him, give him some eye contact. All right. I gave him a lot. <laughs> Let's do, uh, this will keep your mind engaged. Spin me around, spin me around. Okay. Um, <coughs> <coughs> this is the most fun thing to listen to. Don't fly out of your chair. Dude, I want to go <coughs> see the Pixies tonight at the Hollywood Bowl. Oh, really? Well, that sounds like, uh... And Cat Power. You're in, you're in the perfect... Cat Power opening. Well, I'll tell you something about Cat Power. Very talented, but not, not, uh, doesn't get you, doesn't lift your spirits, the cat power music. Some beautiful so, songs, though. Yeah, but it's interesting to ha that they would be an opening act for, uh, for, who'd you say? Oh, Pixies. Damn. Um, Shan Marshall? Let me get out the Festival Supreme card right doesn't now. Doesn't lift your spirits? Because we're going to do. lift your spirits, Tom? In, in a melancholy way. In a melancholy way. Aren't the most beautiful songs always sort of melancholy? Like Elliot Smith. This is like what he's like, like right before uh, going to sleep at night. That's this is what, what it feels like, like is my happening. Lover? Yeah, yeah. My wife. Um, Festival Supreme. I'm gonna quiz you on it right now. Okay. About what's gonna happen there. Yeah. We call this segment the uh, pot quiz hop shot. Uh, who's going to be there, Jack? Who's performing at Festival Supreme this year? How many of them can you name <coughs> in, your, in your high state right now? We've got Cheech and Chong. Mm -hmm. We've got Metalocalypse. That's right. Death Clock, the band from Metalocalypse. Mm -hmm. uh, We've got uh, Nick Kroll. Mm-hmm. We got Tenacious D. Yeah. I don't know how we got I him. looked through the list to find that one. Oh, yeah, Tenacious D. Yeah, you're going to be there. We right? got Doug Benson. Mm-hmm. We got uh, Fred Armisen. And it's no reflection on any of the names if you can't remember anybody. We got Peaches. It's an amazing lineup, yes. We got Eagles of Death Metal. Yes. Um, it's music and Janine comedy. We got Garofalo. We got Margaret Cho. You're gonna have a spooky train ride there? Dude, there's gonna be... A whole circus of death. We wanted I'm to told. have like a Disneyland for grownups and we got these incredible artists to make amusement park rides, like a ride you can sit in and just go through and have sort of a haunted house, haunted carnival Spooky train experience. rides. A handmade monster merry-go-round. Yeah. The uh, Hayden triplets will be performing. Creepy puppet carnival. shows? Like, like, do you really have to put creepy in front of puppet shows? You don't have to. I mean, it, have all you ever creepy. been to see the Bob creepy. Baker shows? Oh, man. Amazing. Incredible. Marionettes, right? right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Large-scale video projections. Yeah. Sculptures. Freak show characters. Yeah. Eric Andre. Did we say him already? There's going to be a bouncy church that I've heard rumors of that is going to be unbelievable. A bouncy church. Yeah. That's a fun concept. But, um... Yeah. Lots of great acts. Lots of so great acts. Good... And we're going to show an ad coming up that shows you uh, Drunk singing, history. singing a song about all the acts. Drunk History Live. How's that going to work? Yeah, exactly. What's going to happen? Work? I don't know. I'm excited about it, though. Have you ever gotten drunk for Drunk History? No. I've always been You've just been a reenactor. So, yeah. No, you can't be drunk. I wouldn't want to do that. Drunk History. I wouldn't want to do that. I'd be like you are now. That would be my nightmare is to be 
purposefully you drunk just, on camera. Yeah. You Plus, should, I don't have know anything about any history at all. So yeah. Well, Stone History would be a good show too. I wouldn't even know where to start. What do you mean? You just tell the story from history. It's super blazed. <laughs> how marijuana? Yeah. How p- marijuana prohibition started? Because it was people didn't like jazz music. Yeah. Right. Look at that. It's, okay. all, it's writing itself. People say all the time, why don't you do high history like a TV show? Like you get high and recount history. And it's like, well, because like somebody like Greg Proops can get high and recount mm-hmm. history and not make any mistakes. It's alcohol that makes you uh, say sillier things. Mm. Right? Yeah, I don't know. Kyle Gasband is going to be there. Arj Barker, did you say Nick Thune earlier? No. Nick Thune, actually. I, th- I say Thune because it's wrong. Marilyn Rice Cub. The Aquabats, they're always fun. Aquabats. Dr. Demento. Um, you did great. You named almost everybody. Wait, who else we got? Oh. It's like, look- there's like 40, 40 acts, right? Let me look at this list. Yeah, look at it, and then you'll figure it. You'll totally figure it out. Rob <laughs> Zabrecki, amazing the magician. Pipe. The Proto Men, fantastic. Marilyn Raskub. Have you ever... Uh, N- Natasha Leggero. Somebody wants to know if you've ever played disc golf. Um. Y- yeah, I have played... Frisbee golf. I wasn't very good at it. it. Takes amazing accuracy. At the disc golf beat wanted to know. So it sounds like sounds like this person writes about disc golf. I think they just wanted the word disc golf said out loud. <laughs> disc golf. Um, <laughs> we have people write in, you know, questions on Twitter during the show. So that's why I'm looking for a good uh, question for you. Oh, you know when I got really high one time when I was in your presence? Mm. But you didn't get high with us. It was me and John Ennis and Brian Posehn. When we were out in the desert shooting that thing for Mr. Show, the uh, the Jesus Christ Superstar parody. Yeah. When we were out there shooting that thing. Yeah. We were hot, crazy high all day long out there in the in the heat. Yeah. It's the only way I could have got through that. It was David, so crazy. David Cross's opus. Yeah, that's a really, so good. That, that whole bit is amazing. Remember when that rock bounced off of It hit. It just randomly head. hit uh, it, Sarah Silverman in the head, yeah, and, and she, she just collapsed yeah. like like she really got hit in the head with a hard like rock. An, awesome. And it, they left it in. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. <laughs> like, to. you could not have planned it. Um, hey, are you going to do a second D movie? I'd love to, but I don't think... Uh, would be able to conventionally, you know, the first one didn't do very well at the box office. We'd have to do, just off-road it with a completely independent situation. Yeah, and it would yeah. do great because there's just all this momentum's built up because got people plans, see, the, see the movie all yeah, the time. We got some plans. We got an idea that we're cooking up. It's really a, Can't a really thing talk now. About it right now. It's too hot. <laughs> Someone might steal it. The idea is like currency. Um, I love Bernie. I probably told you that the last time I saw oh, you, did but you see Bernie, that? Is so, you're so good in it. It's Thanks, such a man. great movie, and uh, that was uh, people need to check it out. Bernie. Richard Linklater. Real, at, it's at a real game. story. Jack plays so. like a real dude that did this real thing. Oh, and it turns out it's 420 in the middle of an ocean, and 420 in Rome. Right now. Right now. So if you're in Rome, tweet at us. <laughs> Get on your Twitter, Rome, and. Uh, let us know that uh, somebody in Rome is watching this. I, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, where's been your? Do you have a most memorable smoking spot? Um, Heisenberg Cooks wants to know. <laughs> no, no, I don't smoke. Let's be let's be clear about that. I had a spot. He doesn't smoke. He just did it for for us tonight. I had a spot behind the garage, but um, yeah, my boy saw me smoking a cigarette and I put it out and I haven't smoked since. Anything? No. Well, that's good. Cigarettes, you gotta, you definitely have to quit it's that. Tough, man. The cigarettes are tough. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's never been my, uh, I never got hooked. That's why the, the smoke, 
concerns me from the, the marijuana too, that it's dangerous for the lung follicles. Well, you know, I, I was, it was a study of only just one man, but uh, uh, marijuana smoking doesn't seem to have uh, affected my lungs adversely compared to someone who doesn't smoke. Yeah, and you prefer the burning to the... Uh... Well, that's hydro, another thing. Hydrofinating. <laughs> I like vaporizing because it just it's smoother. You know, it's less. Do uh, the vapors ever feel like they fill your lungs with liquid water that you need to cough up? And does that freak uh, you out a little bit? <laughs> no, I feel like I have to cough, but I don't. I don't feel because like my lungs are full of water. Because I was it's more doing, like it's because I just have to cough. I was doing a lot of vaping while I was in um, Atlanta, and um, it just sort of. It felt like it was going against my body. Like every time I did it for a few days, I would I'd start to get this weird water cough. And I finally quit it. Yeah, I wouldn't like that. Like that's the thing, the coughing, I have to be coughing so much that I would rather be not coughing than be than getting high. You know, that's, maybe those two things will meet at some point and I'll stop, but I don't think so. I think I'm in it for the long haul. How are we doing on time? Have I been... Completely ignoring the signals. We're, we're good. We can go to a break, or um, we can. <laughs> we can. I just want to get this over with for Jack and for me, because I have to do another show tonight. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks sorry for... if I've been a drag. I was having kind of a weird trip. No, it's a uh, it's a <laughs> interesting social experiment to see what happens, you know. And uh, I I'm grateful for you being here and you know you still if we me. get the call tomorrow to pull this off the internet i'll understand <laughs> tell your friends to tune in now because this might not exist after tonight um it's not for everybody right that's, kids with developing that's brains the thing is about with it they shouldn't have it you shouldn't have it yeah um, lots of people. After twenty five, you should be able to experiment as much as you want because you're a fully grown adult brain. Yeah, and you might, you know, there might be some other reason why you want to have this experience. What if again. I wasn't smoking? Like so if you're much having trouble sleeping. When I was in my 13, 14, 15, then maybe I would have become like a jet propulsion rocket engineer. Right. Anyone ever think about that? Instead of bringing millions of people happiness. There you go. Something to chew on. Let me ask you this about King Kong. Everybody's over there, right? They're all excited about the giant monkey. And uh, they're like, let's take this monkey back to New York. And nobody goes, hey, you know what would also blow people away in New York? Dinosaurs. This island also has some dinosaurs. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Why not? Why no? No discussion of let's take some dinosaurs. You're right. Let's just get out of here with the monkey. That is a huge let's settle hole for the in monkey. The plot in the script. <laughs> that, in fact, was they totally only had ignored. three hours to bring it hey. up. Well, that's the thing. And spent a lot of time. That sounds like a sequel to me. A lot of time with the part two. So not about yeah, juggling. King Kong's dead. But the part two is the fucking like dinosaurs. Let's go get the dinosaurs. Out. And no, he uh, gets loose too. No, there's a movie in development or in production and called they fight Skull against the Island. Nazis <laughs> have some dinosaurs. It's already a thing, Jack. Skull Island. They're making it like a a movie about that island and everything on it. It's crazy. You're really taking that in, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, now where are we at? We can go to another break, right? Okay. I'm excited to go to this break because I want people to hear Jack's song about Festival Supreme. October 25th, Shrine Auditorium here in Los Angeles. It's gonna be a lot of fun and we'll be right back. Tenacious D proudly presents Festival Supreme at the Shrine Auditorium October 25th. Festival Supreme 2014 is going to be tremendous With a haunted house like you've never seen And a lineup quite stupendous 
We got Cheech and Chong, Margaret Cho, Peaches, Angeline Garoppolo, Nick Crow, gonna be great, workaholics, don't forget the state, Nick Fune and the Aquabats, DJ Lance with the kick ass hat, Doug Benson, Mystery Head, Norm MacDonald, List what I said, TJ Miller, Drunk History, Maria Bamford, this I gotta see, and a bunch of other people, and get caught, man. Come on down and don't be late. October 25th, don't you hesitate. Come to the Festival Supreme and have yourself a scream. 17 or older, buy tickets at festivalsupreme.com. Wow, right? Festival Supreme, you gotta go. Uh, they He wrote a song about it, and it's a good song. It's catchy. I like. I just like listening to it. It's got my name in it. That makes me feel good. Uh, 4,136 people now. Oh my God. Yeah, people are gathering around their, uh, their computers. <laughs> it's going crazy. <laughs> this guy's worried, Hunt Griff on Twitter is worried that I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> uh, so uh, that's why we stopped smoking. I, I've been holding this for a long time. Uh, I should take a hit, but... Um, and then someone else named Kate Carlson wrote, we believe in you, Jack, you can make it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank so you that's, for your support. So that's great. This is like, yeah. I'm gonna be all right. It's really, can he, can he get to the end? And I, I think he can. And I think we also have a really nice couch standing by. Uh, but we also have standing by. I'm looking forward by. to the Pixies. Go check out that set. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna come down from this a little bit and you're gonna have a nice, fun time at the Pixies. Yeah. I think it'll be good. And then I'll go do some memorization. Oh, God. With you, you're going to help me. Okay. You're going to be with me the whole All way. All right. <laughs> um, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. It's game time. That means... Uh, hey! Hey! My friend Gabe is going to come in and show, do a magic trick for you. I guess I could sit here, right? All right. Jack. Yeah, yeah. I'll go, I'll go like this. Here we go. Hey, Jack. But watch, watch this magic trick, Jack. Oh, I'll come over there. Yeah, yeah, get in there. All right, I'll make Love this it. easy on you. Just tap a card, any card. Which one? <laughs> okay, take a look at it. Memorize it. Got it? Got it. Place it back in the deck. All right, I'll place those there. I've got a little friend here who's a ghost who lives on top of this small disc. Mm. He's about this tall. Would you mind shaking his hand? That's not quite his hand, but... Did I just shake his dick? Yeah, you might <laughs> All right, what he's going to do is he's going to go down through the deck, try and memorize your card. It's gonna pick up on the energy. I think he's got it. Let's see, do you see anything there? No. Sometimes it helps if you just breathe on it, actually. <sighs> I think that was my card. Was that like, yeah, the nine of clubs? Yeah. <sighs> that's it right there. Wow, you can that's see it. badass. Yeah, I love it. You forced me to have the nine of clubs. It's a normal deck. There's no force. I mean, it's actual magic. There was some kind of sleight of hand that I wasn't aware of. I'm very impressed with that young magician that you brought on the show. Thanks, man. What was his name? Gabe. 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 Gib? Yeah, Gabe. <laughs> Gabe. Perhaps the finest magician living in Southern California at this moment in time. Wow, you got you've got something for your, uh, you know, press release for his uh, his folder. Did you put a quote like that on a resume? Just put it on your resume. Why not? You'll stand behind that even when you're not high. All right, Jack. <laughs> That's, this is amazing. I'm glad people, from the beginning, people have said, people get high and they spin around in those chairs too much. And I'm like, that's exactly why I wanted spinning chairs. Because <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's fun. <laughs> 4,200 viewers right now, which people who like to have fun with numbers could call that 420 with one more zero. Jack is trying to get out of this basement. He's trying to escape. 
I'm going to be on At Midnight tomorrow night on Comedy Central. And I'm doing uh, Douglas Movies, as I mentioned, in Madison, Wisconsin at Comedy on State this Saturday at 4.20. And in Seattle, Washington, I'm going to be at the Neptune Theater on December 19th. All of my stand-up dates are at DouglasMovies.com. Merch, you can get merch. Put the thing up for merch so they can go there and get some. I don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> I don't want to get into it. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> it's like the first time weed's ever turned somebody into a baby. Just made him into a big baby, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I'm going to do another show tonight. <laughs> yeah, uh, special getting dug with high double header. So take a break. Keep smoking. Do whatever you're going to do. <laughs> but I'm going to be back in about how long? About an hour and something. And uh, with a special surprise guest, a mystery guest. Yeah, right? It's always mm -hmm. a mystery. Nobody knows who the guests are until they appear. I'm looking forward to that. Can I watch from the audience? <laughs> yeah. That's if you're cool. still hanging around here. Uh, we'd be happy to have you just sitting over there. I bet you I bet you if you were sitting over there, you'd have more to say. That's true. You know what I mean? Because uh, it's easier to uh, be high in the shadows than under, underneath the spotlight. And we're also going to do a show on Wednesday, but we're not sure what time because we might shift it for our potential special guest on Wednesday. Got lots of great people doing this, Jack. I really appreciate it. It's an this. exciting time I really for appreciate you. it. He really just did this just like for not to let me down. Well, remember the last time we got high, I got high was at the party that I saw you at mm -hmm. at Name Drop's house. Right. We had a couple of we had a couple of hits and mm -hmm. then I I said, "Do you want to come on my show? Uh, you don't yeah. have to." And yeah. you said, "I'll come on." And then you made good on it. Yeah. Yeah. That was in April. That was told, April 20 something. Yeah. I told you that I don't really smoke. And you said I should come anyway. Right, but you, then, we had just so shared a joint when you said I don't smoke. <laughs> that I might freak out and not say anything for the entire interview and leave you completely I'm always forewarned, but I can't. In a super dark negative cloud of I can't energy. live with myself with the people <laughs> begging. Worst on your show in this No, in no, show. no, not even. For not sure. even. Not even bottom five. I love you, man. <laughs> I love you. And uh, we'll see you in a little while and on uh, Wednesday. Can't wait to see what Festival <laughs> Supreme. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash Doug Benson.